Hey guys, it's Jeff Farina with PocketNow.com. And if you start our unboxing of the HTC Wildfire, we were able to actually start the device up and give you a brief look at HTC Sense. Well, in this video, we're going to dive in a little bit further and give you a tour of what Sense has to offer in terms of being a Android operating system skin. And we're also going to look at some of the preloaded software on the HTC Wildfire device. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, and we are back, and we're going to start off our series on the HTC Wildfire by giving you a brief intro to the software that is loaded on this device. Now, the device itself comes with Android 2.1, which is also known as Eclair, and as you can see here, it's running HTC Sense over the Android OS. Now, for those of you who haven't used HTC Sense before, it is a custom skin that has been developed by HTC for Android, and it gives you some different options as well as some home screen features. So... I can show you right here, just scrolling left and right, you're going to get up to seven different home screens with HTC Sense. Now the advantage here is if you've used an HTC device in the past, it's still going to stay consistent to that. However, if you haven't used an HTC device in the past, this is going to be new to you. The phone button down here, as well as the menu button and this plus button, these are exclusive to HTC Sense. The phone is pretty self-explanatory. It brings up the phone option. Pressing the menu button will bring up your menu here, which will allow you to scroll through all of your various apps that you have on your system. And then going to the plus button will allow you to add a shortcut, whether it be a widget, an app, a folder, etc., rather than just a long press. PC Sense is also known for this nice clock and weather widget as you see here, which gives you a big flip clock as well as the brief weather forecast. You can actually tap on the clock to get a few different settings, such as an alarm clock mode or a desk clock type of mode. You can also get your world clock, so you basically add your different cities your alarms, stopwatch, and your timer. Now there is one difference with HTC Sense, or better yet, with Android on this device than a lot of the newer Android devices. You do not have the ability to add live wallpapers, and I believe that's because of the processor. Devices on the HTC Hero have also been updated to Android 2.1 and still do not have the ability to do the live wallpapers, and this is very similar to that. Once again, most likely because of the processor coming in only 528 megahertz. Using a live wallpaper will definitely dedicate some of that CPU. So by sacrificing the ability to have live wallpapers, HTC has kept the processor somewhat up to spec in terms of the apps don't run incredibly slow. However, if you did have a live wallpaper, you would definitely see a difference. Now, because this uses HTC Sense, HTC is going to incorporate many of their own widgets as well. That includes stocks, news, weather, even a music player. Now, showing you some of those right off the bat is going to be the music player application itself or the widget itself, which is much better than the Android music players by default. That's one of the big complaints with Android is the music player. This widget you're seeing down here is the HTC music player. If we actually go ahead and click on this, it will bring up the player itself. And as you can see, it gives you the cover art type style that you can actually flow through pretty easily. This definitely runs better than the stock Android music player. Going back to the home screen, we can continue to scroll toward the right. You have your stocks widget here. These are the defaults it will give you. You can change these though to whatever fits your portfolio or whatever you want to follow for that matter. Now you can also pinch in to get a helicopter type view. Now going back to the opposite side of our home screen, we have the HTC news widget. Now as you see here, it is a typical size widget which will give you all of your news stories. You can actually just scroll right through, select a widget, and it will actually bring up that story for you to read in its detail. Going back to the home screen though, you can actually change which feeds by pressing the all stories. And it allows you to change which feeds you want to pull from. As you see here, we have the CNETs, the Engadgets, the Yahoos. You can even add many more though if you'd like. You can do it based on RSS as well. So it's, it's in sense an RSS reader as well. Now we also have the HTC Mail widget, which will basically show your email right on the screen as well as you can see here. This gives you the ability to actually write a response directly from your home screen in sense. It's a much faster way to respond to your email. You just would type who, compose the message, and then you would just press the send button, and off it goes. You're also going to have the HTC bookmark widget, which is, once again, pretty straightforward. As you can see here, it gives you some of your favorite bookmarks, and these are the default standards that it's going to come preset with. You just scroll up and down. You can actually choose the window that you want to go to. So, for example, we can press the Google page right there, and now it's actually going to bring us right to Google.com. Pretty fast and simple. It eliminates the need of having to open up the browser and type in the address every time. 
and you get the added benefit of being visual and a little bit of eye candy for you, as you can see right there. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you are stuck having to use the HTC widgets. You do have to use HTC Sense, but you can load some of the widgets from the market, and any preloaded widgets from Android are also going to be included. For example, the Power Manager here, which is an Android stock widget, you can use that in conjunction with the HTC Calendar breakout widget, as I have on that screen there. Which means that, for the most part, your standard Android experience will live in harmony with HTC Sense, while many people may say that Sense does slow down the OS because it is in fact a skin and it's a very intense skin, it does also give you the added benefit of some of the productivity features like this calendar widget here, as well as the well-regarded clock that you see on the home screen. Now the on-screen keyboard, because this is a 3.2 inch screen, of course has to be modified to fit that screen. As you can see here, it's very similar to the HTC Hero on Sprint. It's very similar to that keyboard. It fits the screen perfectly, and it's actually very easy to type on, very similar to the iPhone in terms of the accuracy. Really, very few errors are had when typing a long message, or a quick message for that matter. One great thing about Sense is that it's going to incorporate your Facebook and your Twitter contacts with your standard address book so that when someone calls you, if they have a Facebook page, it will actually show their picture, and it may even show their status updates or their recent Twitter updates in the contacts profile itself. Now you're also going to have the addition of what's called app sharing. If we go into the menu here, as you can see app sharing, this gives you the ability to actually recommend an app to a friend. So you can actually, as you see here, these are the two, the two apps that are currently on this device, Facebook and Twitter. So you can actually pick Twitter and you can share it via Facebook friend stream, which is the HTC custom stream to see your feeds from Facebook and Twitter. You can send it through the Gmail application, through the standard mail application, as well as through a text message, et cetera, et cetera. Even on Twitter if you wanted to. That's a pretty cool feature, you know, being able to show your friends what apps you use and which ones they should download, especially if they're new to Android. And that's going to conclude our part one of the software overview of the HTC Wildfire, which comes preloaded with Sense, which is the OS skin. Make sure you stay tuned for our coming hardware update as well as the software overview part two, which will incorporate a browser test, as well as some of the different social networking applications on a speed test compared to one of this device's big brother, the HTC Evo. As always, please leave us a thumbs up. Thank you everyone for watching.